for their participation tonight. The two Democratic candidates vying to replace Senator John Kerry's Senate seat squared off in a debate Wednesday night, moderated by Boston University professor R.D. Saul. Stephen Lynch and Ed Markey used the half hour to cover topics ranging from gay marriage to the economy to Obamacare. The, the vote for President Obama's health care bill was the proudest vote of my career. Lynch, who voted against Obamacare, accused Markey of backtracking. You're supporting repeal of sections of the Affordable Care Act that you voted for because now you realize that the medical device tax is killing our manufacturers in the state. So the candidates also touched on the important issue of a woman's right to an abortion. Um, for 30 years, I have been a consistent supporter of a woman's right to choose. When key votes like the Stupak Amendment comes up on the floor of the House just three years ago that would deny a woman insurance coverage so that abortion would be covered from an insurance company perspective, I made sure that I voted against that amendment, Steve voted for it. Lynch fought back and clarified his position. I refer to myself, I consider myself pro-life. Uh, I know I've read recently and heard recently that uh, I'm not pro-life or I'm not pro-life enough. Attacking Roe v. Wade won't make abortions go away. It'll just change the setting from, from a clinical setting to one that's much more dangerous for, for women. Many supporters of both candidates gathered outside of the debate Mark, he tried to remain focused on the issues to secure the nomination in the primary. I think uh, the driving issues uh, are women's reproductive rights, health care, innovation, uh, economy, um, the issue of gun control, uh, and my actual successful work in the past on banning Chinese assault weapons. I think they're going to be looking for someone who can go to the Senate and be effective and effective immediately. Lynch has the support of the iron workers and the firefighters, but still trails by nearly 11 points in the latest poll. He said that encourages him to work harder. I always feel like I'm an underdog, uh, but I, I like that. I, I, I've had three of these special elections, and I, this is probably the best I've been doing in any of those elections, and I won all three. So uh, I guess I'm more comfortable in the, in the underdog role after you've been there for a while. Um, I'm always outspent but I'm never out hustled. The Democratic candidates discuss many issues tonight. There's still more time for debate and discussion. Primary not until April 30th, the general election at the end of June. At the WCBB studios, I'm Mike Neff for Boston University News Service.